Recently, I was blessed with the opportunity to participate in a personal prayer appointment, and it really was a beautiful experience. The caregiver led me through a guided prayer exercise in which I brought before the Lord my struggle with people-pleasing and perfectionism. With the Holy Spirit as our tour guide, we revisited a few key memories that had shaped my identity in these areas. And I followed the invitation to watch these stories unfold through the eyes of Jesus. And as I looked into Jesus' face, I expected to be met with the same expectations and judgment and disappointment that I had felt from the people in those memories. But I was surprised to find that instead, I was met with a gentle and a gracious Jesus who smiled and laughed and invited me to relax and to play and to step into the so much more that he had in store for me. My encounter with Jesus brought truth and clarity to my identity in Christ. We live in a world with so much trauma. And I know a woman who has been a victim of domestic violence, faced a lot of trauma for over 12 years. And God had me on a path towards inner healing, in fact, several paths, until I came across soul care healing that I realized that there are so much, so many layers actually, to peeling, like peeling an onion, that God was just stripping, stripping those layers and bringing me to those deep wounds simply joined the formational prayer group. And the first step that we introduced to, in fact, it was an exercise, was finding a safe place. We need a safe place. And the safe place is not just a physical environment. That safe place is experiencing Jesus internally. A place where you can go to especially when you're starting to process those deep wounds, those hurts and pains, that you can always go back to that safe place. It might be different for different people, but for me it was being in the arms of Jesus. What it is to experience Jesus in a way that you know that you'll feel loved, you'll know that at the end of it some healing has taken place, which to me is what soul care is all about, that deep inner, inner healing that I need, perhaps all of us need, as we go through life and grow as believers. I participated in a 12-week healing care formational group of seven people. Uh, it was comprised of five participants with two leaders. And uh, each session, we met once a week, but each session lasted about three hours. And when I first heard about it, I, I kind of dreaded it. Wow, three hours, I just don't have the time. But I gotta tell you, even after the first session, the three hours would go by and it was like, we're done? First of all, I'll say that I rediscovered a, a, the journey that, that I'm on, that God is waiting for me to participate with him and he desires to meet with me. Specifically, I discovered and was helped to define some, some deeply rooted uh, wounds that I had and the lies that led to those wounds. The, the process involves it going down, descending into what some difficult stuff is, and then um, meeting that face to face with the help of the Holy Spirit, then rising out of that uh, triumphantly to, to be transformed. And as a result, I think I understand better what it means to join Jesus in both his death and resurrection, kind of going down into the into the grave, but then rising up to live with him. I only move forward if I let him in to do that work. The Holy Spirit is a wonderful counselor. The Soul Care Ministry is an all-sight ministry with a vision to see a flourishing church filled with believers in Jesus who are growing in their identities as beloved children of God living in the wholeness and the freedom available to them by the power of the Holy Spirit. We offer several opportunities for inner healing and spiritual growth, including personal prayer appointments and formational groups. 
both of which are led by uh, trained caregivers who are prayer-filled and submitting to the leading of the Holy Spirit. For more information or next steps, simply email soulcare at madisonchurchgr.org.